We're joined now in studio by Vanderbilt head coach Derek Mason. Coach, you're less than a week away. You ready to do this? I'm ready to do this. My team's ready, ready to do this. You look at where we are now. We've been banging on each other now for, you know, close to, you know, in three, three weeks plus, and now we get a chance to kick it off versus MTSU. Well, you handled them pretty well down there last year in the season opener. You shut down Brent Stockstill and crew. As you look at them and prepare for this year's opener, mm -hmm. how's this middle team stack up? It's really some of the same. Anytime you've got a veteran quarterback, you've got a chance for success. And he's probably one of the top 10 or 12 quarterbacks in the country. For me, I look at this team and I say, we're, we're going to have our hands full because, you know, Middle Tennessee knows how to play good football and they know how to put points on the board. After reaching a bowl game two years ago, you fell short of that six-win mark yeah. last season. How much has that disappointment yeah. fueled your guys through the offseason and fall camp? It's been strong. I haven't let this team forget about it. Yeah. You know, I, I think it's about unmet, unkept expectations. But you know what? You can't get that back. The only thing that you can do is work to, you know, improve on what you did a year ago. And that's exactly what this team is, set, is setting out to do. In your fifth season, you know the drill at Vanderbilt. No one yeah. ever really gives you guys much respect. Right. I've seen several prognostications that have you at the bottom of the SEC. A couple suggest you might go winless in the SEC. Right. How much do you use that as bulletin board material? It's always going to put a chip on our shoulder, and that's good. Man, we got to play with an edge. It is bulletin board material. These young men work hard. They understand what it takes to compete in the classroom 286 days a year and then step across campus and compete in the SEC. So all they know how to do is fight. This team may be my best team, and now what we're ready to do is, is get out there and play some football. Well, one area on paper where you've got a very talented piece is that quarterback, yeah. Kyle Shermer, <laughs> a guy who started for you for yeah. three and a half years. As he enters his senior season, you've seen how much he's grown, but how good could he be here in his final season? You know, I've got a, I've got a you know, tag phrase, hashtag limitless. I mean, I, I believe this young man, his ceiling is high. He's been able to take lessons learned from previous seasons and challenge himself every year to get better. Try to be not only the best on this football team, but one of the best in the country. And that's, and that's where I feel Kyle's gone. He wants to be one of the best in the country. He's going to have to find a few more weapons on the outside to yeah. connect with. But one guy who stood out to me last year was Kalijah Lipscomb. Mm -hmm. Does he have the potential to develop into the type of threat that you haven't had in your time at Vanderbilt? Kalijah Lipscomb has already put good film on tape. What he's been able to do production-wise, he's probably, you know, second or third in the conference in terms of average big play yards per catch. I think Kyle's got, got weapons, but Kalijah is a dude. School's all-time leading rusher, Ralph Webb, is with the Patriots now, right. so he's gone. But I don't get the sense that you and your coaching staff is really concerned about running back production with the stable of guys you've got back there now. We're not. You know, Ralph Webb did what he was supposed to do. He had a mission. He wanted to be one of the best running backs in Vanderbilt history, and he did that. But we'll have a, a pretty good crew, starting with Kari blasting game, and, and Kari's healthy now, so that's good. But Keyshawn Vaughn, local product, had to sit out last year. He's a force to be reckoned with, and he's pushed that group. Now, defensively, mm -hmm. I'm used to Derek Mason's secondaries being nasty. Led by Ladarius Wiley, how good can this unit be for you? This group has a chance to really be better than the groups that have come before it, and it's because of Ladarius's leadership, but I also think the emergence of Jawan Williams outside. I think he's one of the best corners in the SEC that nobody's talking about. We are more athletic than we've ever been. I think we can run with anybody. I think we're going to match up well, and that's a good feeling because I've got guys that can cover and guys that can tackle. Well, it all starts Saturday night yeah. with game number one against Middle Tennessee. A lot of unknowns with any yeah. opener. What's the biggest thing you want to see from your team? I want to see a complete game. If you want to be a good football team, well, then you got to start fast. Middle Tennessee gives us an opportunity to play our best ball. They're going to give us their best, and what we're going to see is a good football game. I, for one, cannot yeah. wait. Derek Mason, thanks for the time tonight. Good luck this season. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's anchor down.